most lost things. And for her to say, I'm going to talk about my pain and anger at you, what were those conversations like? Again, it didn't, it didn't happen in that way. It happened, we, we were using our, with our art, almost like a therapy session. And we started making music together. Mm -hmm. And then the music she was making at that time was further along. So her album came out as opposed to the joint album that, that we were working on. Mm -hmm. um, we still have a lot mm -hmm. of that music. And this is what it became. There was never a point where it was like, I'm making this album. It, I was there. Right. I was right there the entire time. And what was her reaction to your work? And what was your reaction to hers? They must have caused I think they pain both, for each of you, right? Of course. And it both very, very uncomfortable. But sitting in that, the best the best place in the, uh, you know, hurricane is like in the middle of it. Yeah. We were sitting in the eye of that hurricane. And I, maybe not use hurricane because so many people are being affected right now. Yeah. But the best place is right in the middle of the pain. Right. And that's where we were sitting. And it was uncomfortable. And we had a lot of conversations, you know. Right. And really proud of the music she made. And she was really proud of the, the, mm -hmm. the, the art I released. And, you know, at the end of the day, we really had a mm -hmm. healthy respect for one another's craft. Mm -hmm. I think she's amazing. Right. You know, most people walk away. And, like, divorce rate is, like, 50% or something. Because most people can't see themselves. The hardest thing is seeing pain on someone's face that you cause and then have to deal with yourself. Yeah. So you don't, yeah. most people don't want to do that. Yeah. You don't want to look inside yourself.